Hello, this is Mr. Stansbury. I'm going to take you through the International System Units um, notes, also the referred to as the SI units. At the end of this, you should be able to say, I can convert measurements within the International System to solve real-world type problems, including area and volume conversions. All right, so let's look at International System Units here. So International System of Units, or SI, is founded on seven base units, okay, distance, mass, time, electric current, temperature, intensity of light, amount of substance, okay? So um, <clears throat> meters, kilograms, uh, seconds, and then we've got these down here, which are not as commonly used for what the problems that we're going to end up seeing, but these are the, these are three, the three big ones that we're going to want to, that we're going to want to be familiar with. Other SI units are called derived units. And they are defined in terms of base units by multiplying or dividing them. So some of the com more common ones are area, volume, mass, um, velocity, you'll see a fair amount, and um, angles. Okay, so area, meters squared, cubic square meters or meters squared, volume, cubic meters or meters cubed, uh, grams is the mass. And then we've got, again, velocity is meters per second. And then you'll see this a lot in IB notation. We're used to seeing this as meters. Oops, let's see if I can get that on there. So we, we, we're used to seeing this as meters per second, right? Um, but you're going to see it like this um, all the time in our textbook and on the IB uh, test as well. MS to the negative first, that means the S goes to the bottom. So it's meters per second, OK? Uh, here are some other ones, again, not as um, used in the problems that we'll be looking at, but uh, those are also some other um, international system units. All right? Okay. Let's see. Some uh, other ones One it are also time. Obviously, we've, we've, we already talked about time, but minutes, and then there's hours, there's 3,600 seconds in an hour, and then we've got tons. There's 1,000 kilograms in a ton, uh, point zero zero. Uh, one cubic meters is a liter and so forth and so on. These are all these um, like conversions and other particular units. And any of these specific ones that you need should be on the formula sheet when you take uh, your test if, if you need. Okay. Uh, some common multiples of the SI units are this. So we've got nano is 10 to the negative ninth or one um, over what is that, a billion? Yeah, okay. Micro is 10 to the negative six. That's one over a million. Milli is one over a thousand. Um, and then we got kilo is a thousand, 10 to the third. Mega is a million. And then giga is a billion. So like if I were to say uh, we've got a gigameter, that's, that would be what, a billion meters. That's a lot of meters, okay? So these are some... Um, of the more extreme type measures, nanos way down there, micros pretty far down there. Milli and kilo are pretty common, but then mega and giga are not nearly as common. But uh, anyway, let's let's put some of these into practice. Okay, um, one um, other way that uh, we can look at this is this is like a common way to. Um, do conversions and I really like this way. It seems to work out pretty well um, You hopefully have heard it in science class, but this is kilo um, Hecta deca and this is you for units deci centi and milli. Okay, and the way to remember that is well, um, You can say King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk is how a lot of people remember that. Okay, so um, again, I put the U in a different color because the U is the units, and that's m the most common ones are meters, liters, and grams. Okay, so let's use that to solve a few things here. Okay, first, let's just, I'll write these out here in case you want to um, see those, uh, but let's, let's use those to, to figure some stuff out. All right, example one, convert 21 mg to g. So... Here's our M, that's the milli milligram, and we're gonna convert it to gram. So easiest way to do this is what you wanna do, we wanna convert from milli to just 
milligrams to plain old grams. So start in the middle of the letter, not on the either side. Start right in the middle and say, okay, I'm going to go from milli to centi to deci to grams. So I'm going to move that my decimal to the left, one, two, three spots. So here's my 21. The decimal, if it's not showing up there, it's always always at the end. Right? And then we're going to move this decimal one, two, three spots to the left. So that's 0 0.021 grams is the same thing as 21 milligrams. All right. And then let's do that with some of these here too. Let's get rid of this first. Now we're doing um, 132.5 meters to centimeters. So meters is the units. And now we're going to turn that into centimeters. So we got to go one two to the right remember start always start in the middle of the letter not on one end or the other it makes it a lot easier to make sure you get it right so we're going to move that two spots over to the right so this 132.5 we're going to move one two spots to the right and all the empty spots we're going to fill in with zero so that's 13,200 oops that's comma 250 centimeters is the same thing as 132.5 meters okay <clears throat> and then let's do this one okay number uh, example c 0 0.045 kiloliters to milliliters so here's the kilo and here's the milla so we're going to go way over here so we're going to go one two three four five six spots to the right so 0 0.045, move this decimal, one, two, three, four, five, six to the right. That's where the decimal is now going to be. All these spots here, empty spots, get filled in with zeros. So that is now, we don't need these first two zeros anymore. They were just holding the place. So we get 45,000 milliliters. So... 0.045 kiloliters is the same as 45,000 milliliters. Okay. All right. Example two, convert 32 centimeters squared to meters squared. So um, <clears throat> a little different with this here is now we have centimeters squared to meters squared. So what that means is since it's squared, we're actually converting two different measurements. Because if you think of it this way, like let's say we've got a little, um, let's see, let's call this one meter by one meter okay that would be one square meter of area there um, if we're going to convert this into centimeters instead of meters it's the exact same sh same size we're just changing the unit that we're measuring by so centimeters so to go from meters to centimeters oops there's meters that's meters liters grams one two to the right so this one is going to turn into a hundred and then this one is also going to turn into 100. So this here is one square meter, because one times one is one. And then this is going to be 100 times 100, which is going to be 10,000 square. Um, oops, that's centimeters squared. So really what you're doing here is we took the one. We were, it's a little different than the example that we're doing, but we're taking one meter squared to figure out how many centimeters squared. So you take this decimal. The, the one the decimal is right here after the one to go from meters to centimeters we got to move two to the right right so we got to move one two to the right but you have to do it one two times because it's centimeters squared so you got to do it twice so two more times fill those all in with zeros and there's our ten thousand centimeters squared okay so we'll take that idea and apply it to this so we're going to take the 37 centimeters and convert it into meters. So centimeters back to meters is one, two to the left. So we're going to take this decimal and move it back one, two to the left for the first one. But again, there's it's centimeters squared, so we have to do it twice, right? So that's going to be zero. We put zeros in the empty spots there. Zero point zero zero three seven square meters. So thirty seven square centimeters is the same thing as point zero zero three seven square meters. Okay. Same idea with this one here, going kilometers squared to meters squared. So here's kilo, and there's the meters. So we're going to go one, two, three to the right. 
So we go one, oops, let's just do it down here and make ourselves a little bit more room. Three, eight, so we're gonna go one, two, three for the first, but again, it's kilometers squared, so we're gonna do it twice. One, two, three more. One, fill in all those empty spaces with zeros to hold the place, and we are at six, three, eight, one, two, three, four, zero. So six, oh, sorry. Yeah, six million three hundred and eighty thousand, and that is going to be meters squared. Okay, six point three eight kilometers squared is six million three hundred eighty meters squared. All right. Okay, let's take a look at example C. We've got two thousand seven hundred fifty square meters, and we're gonna turn those into HA, which is hectare. Okay, so what we need to know is the conversions on that. It's back in the one of those. Uh, tables that we had, but a thousand, sorry, a hundred square kilometers is a hectare. Okay, so what we're going to do is first let's do this. Let's turn these meters squared into uh, kilometers squared because that'll at least get us into the right idea there. So we've got 2750, decimal is right there, and then we've got uh, that's meters, and then we're going to turn them into kilometers so here's meters so we're gonna go one two three to the left right <clears throat> but it's squared and so we're gonna turn them kilometer squared so we got to do the, the one two three we got to convert it twice one two three so we are at zero point zero zero two seven five um, let's see now we are at square kilometers okay so we need a um, hundred square kilometers just to equal a hectare. So we're going to take this here, figure out how many hectares we've got. Uh, let's see. So we're going to want to multiply this here by a hundred, which basically moves the decimal two spots to the right here, right? So it's going to go over like that there. So we get 0 0.2, that's a 2, 75 HA, 0 0.275 hectares. Okay, so we've got these here. Example three, convert 44 liters to milliliters. Now, uh, this one actually is, it's actually a really a volume conversion here, but since it's already in this volume here, when you're going liters to milliliters, you just do a straight conversion. So we're gonna go from liters to milliliters, one, two, three to the right. So we're just gonna take this and go one, two, three to the right, so 40, 4,000 milliliters is the same thing as 44 liters. Okay, <clears throat> so these are, this is kind of like special case here because these are liters and centiliters. These are um, just straight conversions. You don't have to do the triple conversion because it's uh, volume. Um, anyway, on this one here, 3.8 centiliters to kiloliters. So here's our centa. And we're going to go to kilo, one, two, three, four, five spots to the left. So we have 3.8. We're going to move it one, two, three, four, five spots to the left. Fill in all those empty spots with zero. So we get 0 0.0000038 kiloliters. Okay. So that's those two there. And then... Let's take a look at the next one. We're going to convert one day into seconds. So <clears throat> um, there are some tables in there that, are, that will tell you, but if we use a little bit of uh, our uh, science stoichiometry uh, business, that should help us out with this. So we've got one day, and we want to turn this. We want to turn this into seconds. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's do this. A little stoichiometry thing says, okay, we don't want days anymore, so we gotta get we gotta switch the days. And let's first switch days into say hours. Let's see, I'm not gonna have enough room here. Let's get rid of this for a second. Okay, so we know that <clears throat> um, one day is let's see, how many hours? Twenty-four hours. So now the days are gone. The days have been converted now into hours. So now we're going to turn those hours, since we got hours in the back originally we started this, sorry, we have days on the top, so we want to put days on the bottom so that the days cancel out. 
and we've got hours on the top. We don't want hours. We want to eventually get to seconds, so we're going to put hours on the bottom, so these H's will cancel out. And we know that one hour equals 60 minutes. So now the hours are gone. We're going to leave the numbers all there. Just going to get rid of the days, hours. Um, we're down in, we've converted it. We're going to convert it now into minutes, but we don't want to convert to minutes. We want to convert into, we want to be left with seconds. So put minutes is on top right now. So we put a minutes on the bottom, right? And we know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So we've turned the days into hours and the hours into minutes and the minutes into seconds. So now all we do is just multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom and away we go. So we got one times 24 times 60 times 60 all over one and that's going to leave us with our seconds. Okay, let's try this out on the calculator. So we got we don't have to put the one in there. 24 times 60 times 60. And that gives us 86,400. So we had 86,000. I already forgot. Let's see, 400. So one day has 86,400 seconds into it. Seconds. And now we're going to turn these seconds here into hours. So I'm going to just do the same thing. 4 and 28, 311 seconds. And we want to turn it into hours. So right now we have that over 1. We want to get rid of the seconds. We want to put seconds over seconds. And we know that 60 seconds is the same as 1 minute. Right, so now the seconds are gone. Now we're now we've converted into minutes, but we don't want minutes. We want hours, right? So then now we got to do minutes and convert that into hours. So we know that 60 minutes is the same as one hour. So now the minutes are gone, and we are now left with our hours, which is what we're hoping for. So now we have with this here, we've got 428. 428,311 seconds multiplied by 1, multiplied by 1, and we're going to divide by 60 times 60. Now, if you're going to do these both together, I would highly suggest doing parentheses here. So we're going to do divide by 60 times 60. Okay, if you do divide by 60 times another 60, if you didn't put the parentheses in there, it would divide by 60 and then multiply back by 60 to end up with the same exact thing, which is not what we're looking for. So we do that and we get 118.975, so about 119 hours is what that's going to be. Okay, so we're going to turn 4 hours, 37 minutes, 22 seconds, all into minutes. Okay, so let's do that so let's convert our hours into minutes and then we got to turn our seconds into minutes and then we'll be all set to go right so we've got four hours we don't want hours we want minutes so we know one hour is 60 minutes so we got to do four times 60 which is 240 minutes right and then we're going to turn the seconds also into minutes so we've got 22 seconds and we don't want the, put those over one we don't want seconds we now want minutes so we know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds so we got to take 22 and divide by 60 All right 22 divide by 60 gives us 0.366 repeating so let's do 0 0.37 we'll call it minutes and then we also have the 37 minutes there all right so we're just going to add all of those together so we got 240 plus 37 plus 0.37 all right we add those all up and we get 277.37 minutes okay all right, example five here, calculate in hours and minutes. So we have five hours, 22 minutes, plus six hours, 51 minutes. So we can, uh, let's just try this. We got five, oh, the five hours plus the six hours. 
and then we have the 51 minutes plus the 22 minutes. We'll just add these up, right? 2 plus 1 is 3. 5 plus 2 is 73 minutes, which we know doesn't make sense, but that's all right. We got 5 and 6, which is 11 hours, 73 minutes. That doesn't quite make sense because there's not 73 minutes. Um, we can take 60 of those minutes out, minus 60, and add 1 to the hours, right? So that will give us 12 hours. And we take 73 minus 60, and we get 13 minutes. So it'll get 12 hours, 13 minutes. Okay. Um, same thing here. 8 hours, 12 minutes, minus 3 hours, 27 minutes. So let's subtract 3 hours and subtract 27 minutes. Right. So we do that here, and we get a negative, which doesn't really help us a whole lot, does it? So we get negative 15 minutes, and we get 5 hours negative 15 minutes <laughs> negative 15 does not add, make much sense so let's take an hour from here right and then we'll add an hour here one hour is worth 60 minutes right so that's going to turn into four hours and then 60 minus 15 gives us 45 minutes okay it's probably the uh, easiest way to do those is just add and subtract the hours and the minutes and then make sure that your answer makes sense because neither one of those answers made sense so we just had to uh, switch it around a little bit all right last example um, example six convert 70 kilometers per hour is what that means to meters per second okay so this is where our stoichiometry is going to come in handy so 70 we got kilometers per one hour and we want to turn it into meters per second. So we know that we can take 70 kilometers and we can use our uh, conversion. We've got King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk, right? So we're going to turn kilometers. We want to turn kilometers into meters. So here's kilometers. One, two, three to the right to turn it into meters. So that equals... Here's our decimal. One, two, three. Turn, fill those in with zero. So we've got that 70,000 meters, right? So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to say that that's really 70,000 meters into one. We go 70,000 meters per hour. But now we want it per second. So here's where the stoichiometry is going to come in handy. We've got hours but we don't want hours we want to turn that into minutes or if you do these enough which hopefully you will um, start to recognize here um, we know that there are 3600 seconds in an hour so i'm going to go straight to that so i know th this is going to be 3600 and this is going to be one the hours are gone and now it's turned into meters per second which is what we're looking for up there so we're really just going to take 70,000 divided by 3,600, and away we go. All right? Yeah, because the other ones are just one. So we got 70,000 divided by 3,600. All right? And we get 19.44. So we get 19.44 meters per second. And again, that's the um, IB way to write it, which is the same thing as 19.44 meters per second. That's how we're used to seeing it. Okay. Uh, this one here, 40, let's see, miles per hour. And we're going to turn that into, well, that really s s looks like um, M stands for meters turning into feet so let's let me just switch this to what it should say and that's miles per hour okay now we're in business 40 miles per hour into feet per second okay so we know that there are so one thing you have to know with this is how many feet there are in a mile and there are 5280 feet in one mile and again if you were if that was going to be on your ib test you would have that conversion uh, for you okay so 40 
miles in one hour. So I now know that the 40 miles, since I want to be in feet, is the same thing as uh, 5280 is one mile times 40, right? Um, or if you really wanted to do this the stoichiometry way, which we could do, we could do this. So we know that one mile is the same thing as 5280, 5280 feet, right? So now the miles are gone. We're left with feet. And now we have one hour here, and we want to turn that into seconds. So we want to, the hour is on the bottom right now, so we have to put the hour on the top. So they... Uh, simplify out and we know that one hour is 3600 seconds okay so now we're going to end up with an answer that is feet per second right because there's the feet and there's a second on the bottom move to the top and it's s to the negative first so we do 40 times 5280 divide that all by 3600 okay so 40 times 5280 so just so you know that's 211 thousand two hundred feet and now we divide that by 3600 okay so we do that and we get 58.667 so we'll call that 58.67 feet per second okay all right, that's all there is for this section here. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask in class.